Welcome to the Richard Lloyd USA YouTube channel. I'm Richard Lloyd. Today I'm making a video on formatting any size drive uh, FAT32 in Windows uh, 10 or lower. This will work in, in most Windows versions, I believe. Uh, but since uh, Windows 10 has come out or before, uh, Windows has, uh, Microsoft has decided that any, hard, any drive over 32 gigs will not be allowed to be formatted FAT32. It'll go either XFAT or NTFS. So let me show you what, the, what, what I mean here. So I'm gonna right click uh, my Windows icon, go to Disk Management, and this shows you all the disk drives in, in the uh, machine, and it shows you, uh, you know, their drive letters and everything else. Really useful to know. Again, when you're formatting drives, be real, real careful that you're formatting the correct drive. You format the wrong drive, like your C drive or your D drive or your system drive, and well, your computer will not boot anymore. So real, real careful about that. So be very, very careful on how you do this, okay? So, uh, and standard video disclaimer, I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your machine, your data, your hardware, anything because of these instructions. If you follow my direction correctly and everything work, works right, you'll be fine. So uh, so here's my drive letters. Uh, C and D are my uh, primary and secondary drives. I don't want to touch them at all. We scroll down to the bottom, you see I've got uh, one, two, three, four external drives uh, plugged in or four drives plugged in. It doesn't know that they're external. And they are first uh, 32 gig um, USB thumb drive, uh, a, a 467 gig or 500 gig external laptop hard drive. You see it right here. You can see it really, really nice. And I'll put a link for the case and all the stuff that I use in this video. Um, I'm also using an external uh, USB 3 uh, hub, which works really well. So again, links for that in the video description. Uh, those are affiliate links. And uh, so, you know, they don't cost you a cent, but uh, they support my channel when you click through. So if you're buying this stuff, use the affiliate, affiliate links in the video description below. It won't cost you any more and you'll help me out in the process. So uh, that's the ex external hard drive for, uh, that's a laptop external hard drive. Then I've got a, uh, mic, uh, no, sorry, an SD, 64 gig SD uh, card plugged in here. Uh, that's the drive I. And as well, I've got a three terabyte uh, external storage drive here, uh, which is a Toshiba. And I don't even know if it's even available, but I just wanted to show you that you can do this with any drive. So this is the external uh, Toshiba hard drive that I'm, we're gonna be formatting three terabytes. So you know that you know this will format any size drive. So problem is this, uh, anything bigger than 32, when you go to format it, uh, Windows on anything 32 and lower will give you the NTFS, FAT32, and XFAT. But, and that's nice because you've got FAT32, that's what you want, you're gonna get it. Anything bigger than 32 though, you'll get this. So let's go to the 64 gig extra, uh, SD card, and you go to format it and you get XFAT and you get NTFS, but you don't get uh, FAT32. So they've just, you know, took it out of the program. They said, you're not gonna be able to do that anymore. Uh, you're only going to have XFAT and NTFS as an option with any drive bigger than 32 gigs, which is a bummer because a lot of people are looking for uh, uh, the ability to format GUI 32. And that's what this video is about, formatting any size drive GUI 32 in Windows. So let's uh, cancel this out. We will format it, but right now we're just going to cancel it out. And then on the last one, we have a uh, a three terabyte drive that I formatted XFAT, you can see here. And again, it'll give you the same, uh, you know, what do you call it, uh, options on the format, XFAT or NTFS, because it's bigger than 32 gigs. So, problem, right? So I get this question a lot in the comments section, use that comment section below, I do look at them and respond to them regularly. So if, again, problem is, a lot of you, uh, a lot of people are trying to, um, or needing to format a drive bigger than 32 gigs FAT32. Fat so here's what my solution to it. I'm gonna open up a browser window here and we're gonna to go to, uh, uh, actually just do a Google search. Uh, so, and the Google search will be for a, a, something called GUI format. So G-U-I-F-O-R-M-A-T, enter it. And you'll see something here, usually for me, it's the first hit every time and that is uh, the Ridge Corp Demon Co. UK GUI format. So we'll click on that link. And, and uh, you know, this is a tool that will format any drive 
32 gig, uh, sorry, FAT32 uh, in Windows. And it doesn't matter what size it is. It doesn't care. It just, you, you say format, uh, you know, the drive, FAT32, and it will do it. Now, if you find this tool really useful and you're feeling generous, I would say, hey, click the make a donation button down here. This is a great tool. Works great. Uh, it, it never failed to do the job for me. So it's awesome. So uh, in order to download this file, it's kind of cryptic on this page, but you have to click on the picture on the screen, which is this picture of the actual program running. So if you click on that, you get the option to save the file. And uh, it's called GUIformat.exe. And nice thing about it is, is that you don't have to install it. It runs on its own. It's a, it's a, it's a program that just runs on its own. So you download it, you save it, you double click on it, and it runs. And that's it. And if you want to uh, uninstall it, you just delete the file, it's gone. So I like that a lot too. That's a, that's a big plus. So I'm going to save this file. And I'm going to save it to my desktop just to make things easy. There we go. All right, so, and it's a really, really small program. It's already downloaded and installed, downloaded, but it doesn't have to install, but here it is. So, um, another thing I wanna bring to your attention is something called the SD card formatter. Uh, I'll put a link for that in the video description below too. And the SD uh, card formatter is a tool that helps you uh, format stubborn USB or, th or uh, thumb drives or uh, US, uh, sorry, or micro SD or SD cards. I've had cards that I formatted in, in, in Linux for certain things and uh, including my Raspberry Pi and they were stubborn to, to format. This tool formatted them all. Just, but again, remember when you're formatting, be real, real careful as to what drive you're formatting. This one actually only does USB and SD cards. Uh, so that makes it kind of really safe. Uh, so, this tool here, I recommend if you're having a problem formatting a US, uh, USB thumb drive or a USB storage device of some kind and or a uh, micro SD or SD memory card. So, GUI format, double click it. It'll give you the security warning because it run, needs to run as a administrator. So say, yeah, and here it is. Okay, so you can see standard options, you know, um, and it's giving me uh, the, a 500 gig NTFS volume, that's L. So again, be real, real sure which drive you're formatting. Uh, I've got the, the uh, disk management up. I think I got it twice. I don't think I need it twice. Let's get rid of this one. There we go. Interesting. And you can see that L is the uh, 500 gig external uh, laptop hard drive. So let's start with that one. Uh, so let's format it. And we're, I'm just doing quick formats here. If you want to do a full, full format where it rewrites every uh, uh, byte on a drive, you can uncheck this box here. Uh, and I'm just going to call it what it is, 500 GB uh, lap. There we go. Uh, let's see if I can go all the way. Yeah, see, there's a limit on, on, on the actual label. So I'm just going to say right there, that makes sense. And just click Start. And... Leave all the rest alone, like the allocation sizes and all that. You can play with it if you want, but I just go with the defaults and, and let it go. It works great. So hit start, and it says, do you really want to format L? Again, be sure, and of course we do. And there it goes through it. Bang. Okay. So now if we go back and we close this off, uh, we should be able to see that in our file manager under the L. There it is an empty drive but it's, it's there and if we go to disk management open it up again now you can see right here it says FAT32 you can also see it here in uh, uh, your drive management uh, by right clicking it and choosing properties you can see again that it says FAT32 here under file system so there we go 500 gigs FAT32 let's do the uh, SD card next and that is drive I so Again, just double click GUI format. It, it always asks you for, for that permission because you need to be administrator to format stuff. So here we're going to choose I, and it tells you three, you know, 60, oh, 63 X fat. So, you know, it knows what it is. So here I'm just going to leave everything else alone. We're doing a quick format start. Yep. Bang. Done. Right. So here we hit close. Go back to our uh, file manager. And you can see here on I, we've got an empty drive again. Properties, FAT32. 
and you would see that in the uh, disk management as well. So there's a 64 gig SD card format, the FAT32. And last but not least, we're gonna do the biggie, which is a three terabyte drive in FAT32, okay? So let's do that. And uh, yeah, back to GUI format. We'll leave this up. So double click GUI format again, say yes. And we're going to the last drive. Um, no, not the last drive, but the K drive, which is, it tells you here again, 3T XFAT new volume. So uh, yeah, that's a three terabyte drive. If, you, you know, if you're not sure, always verify by looking at your file manager and so you know which one you're doing. And it is K we're doing for that size. Again, be real careful. Uh, and you can change the volume here to 3 TB. Yeah, again, you're, you're limited. Uh, and so I'll just do that. Um, actually, I could just, yeah, let's do this. There we go. And hit start, and it's going to format that whole drive. Um, oh, something's using it. Okay, so let's close up stuff. Uh, probably, and that's nice, I, you know, I'm glad to see the error. Probably it's this or the file manager. And uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, hit, hit start and uh, cancel. Yeah, verify, we're doing K, yeah, start, okay. All right, something's got it open. I'm gonna, I'm gonna disconnect the drive and reconnect it. One, probably my, probably my uh, virus checker, who knows. Uh, anyway, so let's just plug it back in again. There it is. Let it spin up. We'll try this one more time. We're going for K. Uh, hasn't found it yet. Yes. Welcome to technology. There we go. Okay, there it's found it. And now I have K here, three terabyte drive. So let's do this again. 3TB, let's call that a drive instead. So yeah, you know, you're gonna run into problems. And again, if you run into that one where it says it's busy, just, you know, disconnect the drive, reconnect the drive, and uh, just go straight to the GUI format. So start, yes, and here we go. Now look how fast this does this, uh, you know, quick is quick. I mean, this is a three terabyte drive. So, boom. And there we have a three terabyte FAT32 drive. So it will do very large drives. So I don't, I don't have a bigger than this drive that I care to format. I got a four, but uh, it's holding all my videos and data. So I'm not formatting that. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that GUI format will do large drives. So that's how you format any size drive to FAT32 in Windows. All right, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a huge favor and give me a big, big, big thumbs up. Uh, it helps my channel, it helps my video, and I greatly appreciate it. Also, uh, in the bottom corner, you'll see, a, uh, you'll see a subscription link. If you wanna subscribe, you can subscribe there. If you click on that, uh, you'll be notified. Sorry, if you click on that, you'll be subscribed to my channel. And as a pro part of the process in that, you'll get a bell icon. And in the bell icon, if you click on that, you'll be notified every time I put up a new video, and then you can watch it at your own leisure. Uh, on top of that, at the end of this video, you'll see a picture of me. That is also a subscription link, same process. You know, click on it, be subscribed, choose to be notified. And every time you, you know, I put up a new video, you will be notified and you can watch it again at your own leisure. Uh, once again, like always, I want to thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you out. And uh, I, as always, again, uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay happy.